Good morning. Uh, my name is Tom Pitsley. I am a home energy advisor and a project manager builder for a company called Next Step Living, which is a Boston based uh, whole home energy efficiency company specializing in uh, energy retrofits. Uh, this, this particular project is a new home construction that we're doing. Um, it involves a whole series of uh, steps to make a home more efficient and actually more of a passive solar home. Uh, one of the really unique features of, uh, that we're using in this house, and we've done this in the past with uh, previous window systems, is we're using this specialized window system you see behind me here. And uh, what you see right now is a little bit of condensation on the outside of the window. It's a cold morning here in uh, North Brookville, Massachusetts. Uh, it was about 49 degrees last night. Um, and what this does is this window system is designed to actually capture and store the sun's energy in the window itself. Uh, the window contains four layers of glass, two spaces filled with argon gas, and then a clear uh, gel, water-based gel, uh, about an inch and a quarter thick, that actually stores the sun's energy in that gel mass within the window space. So what I'm going to do is over the course of the day today, I'm going to show you with the infrared kit, this little infrared scanner, um, exactly how these windows warm up. Uh, the sun's just starting to hit them now, it's a little after 8 o'clock in the morning. And I want to shoot this right now, show you what it is now, and then check back a couple hours later and show you what the temperature has risen in that window. So uh, this window right here um, is registering at about 57.7 degrees this morning. Uh, we left the shades down on these windows, uh, and the reason we did that is so we can show you that uh, the other part of this window system is that there's an integrated exterior solar shade it's designed to re retract up into the head of the window. Uh, it's going to be fully automated and work off of a thermostat as well as a remote control. And I want to show you over the course of the day as this window continues to heat up, how these windows don't really heat up uh, because of the shading system, even though you can still see out of, out of those windows and you still get some light in there. So this window right here this morning is uh, 56.8 degrees. And I'll check back in a couple of hours and show you what that window's heated up to. And uh, we'll continue to do that through the day to, to show you how much these uh, windows heat up. Each of these windows are a separate in individual window unit. Very heavy. Uh, the mass in them makes them very heavy. And each of those window units weigh about 250 pounds apiece. But in order to store the sun's energy, you need mass. And we've, what we've done is, or what Hunter Douglas has done, is encapsulated that mass between the layers of glass in a very clear, optically clear uh, gel and uh, it stores the sun's energy in the window. Uh, a little different than traditional passive solar design where you would need to put uh, mass into the building to store that. Um, they also do a window that does not contain the mass but has a very high uh, solar heat gain coefficient. So typically energy efficient windows have uh, a very good insulation value but they don't let a lot of the sunlight in. So what the unique combination of glazings that they've used in this product uh, gives you a very high insulation value of about 5, uh, which is better than an Energy Star rated window on the insulation value. Uh, but the unique feature is that the solar heat gain coefficient is 0.72, which means it lets 72% of the solar heat come through the glazing and into the mass and then is stored at that place. Um, so with the shading down, the solar heat gain coefficient of this window system drops to about 0.14, which is about 50%. Uh, there again, better than an Energy Star rated window. So that's a little background on the window, how they're built, uh, four layers of glass, gel mass, argon, exterior solar shade, and uh, we'll show you how they perform over the course of the day. Alright, so uh, I'm back here, it's about uh, 10 minutes of 11 in the morning, uh, we've had about uh, three hours of good sunlight hitting these windows, thought I'd show you what the temperature's reaching at this time already. Uh, so you can see those windows are almost uh, 81 degrees right there. And then the ones with the shading on there are uh, still only uh, 62 degrees. Alright, so it's now about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I uh, thought I'd check back, show you how the windows are doing. I uh, started this morning at 57.7 uh, degrees at 8 o'clock. And uh, those windows have reached 100 degrees. And we'll shoot again the uh, ones with the window shades, and they are still uh, 69 degrees. So those have come up a few degrees, but they haven't nearly come up as much as the, uh, the warm uh, thermal mass windows with the shade up. And uh, we'll check again later. They may 
reach about 110 is what we've seen on average. We're still not buttoned up in the house. The windows still on in on the ends and we got a breeze blowing through here. It's in the low 60s outside today, so it's a fairly cool day, even though we have a nice sunny day. And once again, we'll check back in a little bit. All right, so it's about, uh, about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, we've done a couple of the, you saw the, the shots earlier, the window system started at 57.7 this morning. Uh, it's now about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and those windows are heated up to 108.5 degrees. Um, thought I'd show you how this, the shading operates. This is a remote control that we can... Uh, push a button, but these are all going to be set up on thermostats uh, so that they can be controlled automatically, uh, but they'll also have total, the homeowners will have total control so they can uh, open and close these at will, and you can actually uh, close it that way and then stop it if you want, or you can close it all the way. It gives you total control over the, the amount of energy that flows into the windows. Uh, I'm going to take the uh, video camera, go outside, and uh, show you what the outside of these window systems look like, and uh, we'll wrap this up. All right, so I thought I'd show you what the windows look like from the outside. Uh, you can see the ones here with the shading down, the ones with the shading up. Uh, these are the, the thermal mass windows that actually uh, have the uh, gel mass in there for storing the heat. Uh, we have several windows up top here as well uh, that are also a high solar heat gain window uh, with the shading system uh, as part of it. Uh, but those don't have the thermal mass. They're going to allow a lot of solar heat gain to come directly into the building. And then we have... Uh, Three more over here, the, these three uh, three foot by three foot windows are uh, high solar heat gain windows. And then we have uh, five more of the gel windows over here, two in the kitchen area and three upstairs in the master bedroom. Uh, they all have the thermal mass uh, to help store the heat in the house. We have 13 of the thermal mass windows in the house. And then we have uh, eight other windows that uh, are high solar heat gain all along the south side of here. Let me see if I can back up and get you a better view of the overall picture. Alright, so this gives you a better overall view of the house. Uh, it's kind of a contemporary design. Uh, once again, thermal mass windows in the lower. Those are two in the kitchen. There's a door that hasn't been put in yet. Uh, three in the upper master bedroom. Uh, these are the living space. And this, uh, this actual little bump out in the front here is the stairwell going into the building. So this kind of an overview of the house. The front. As you look at the side here. You can see uh, some of the windows are in there. Uh, one thing you don't see that's going to go on next week will be our solar chimney, which we're going to put up on the roof up there. It's uh, going to vent the uh, the wood stove. It's also going to act as a solar chimney, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in one of my future videos. One thing I wanted to show you, so this window shade is completely retracted. It actually hides up into that head of the window that you can't see any of it when it's fully retracted. Uh, we left these partially down. And then we have the, these two that we left all the way down. Um, but that's just to give you an idea that when this window retracts, it goes right into this headpiece, and you don't actually see it.